Josh from Vacuums RS and Sewing 2 in Arvada and Boulder, Colorado again. So we've tested both the power switch and the cord reel on this. We found both to have continuity. I'm going to show you how to pop this motor out at this point. Um, unfortunately, I do not know how to test these motors. I've checked, I've checked with other dealers. They have three wires going in, and I don't know if there's a way to run into, run direct into two of those wires and test the motors. So typically what we do when we're troubleshooting is it's sort of just a process of elimination is we che check the easy stuff like the cord reel and the power switch. And then it kind of goes down to visually inspecting the motor. Very often, particularly on these models, the C3 and the S8 series, what we find is that the bag docks on these are pretty awful. And people either rip the bag docks out and throw them away, or they won't insert the bag just perfectly and the bag will blow out and you'll have debris blow into the motor. And you can visually see that there'll be debris inside the fan blades, which will let you know that your motor's probably bad. Another thing people do um, is they vacuum up water, which goes directly into the motor, it rusts it. Again, that'll be quite, quite obvious. Uh, this machine actually had water picked up in it. The customer uh, absolutely states without a possible doubt that no one ever picked up anything liquid in this machine. Uh, don't lie to your vacuum tech because we know. Um, there is some leftover residue. You can see the white crusties on their upper housing here. And that's indicative of a, of a wet pickup um, that dried and, and crystallized um, frequently animal urine, stuff like that. It's super common that people use their $1,500 vacuum cleaners to vacuum pet waste. Um, so the motor uh, housing on this, you're gonna have these little clips that hold it in. I'm gonna pop these out. And I need to forewarn you, it is very, very difficult to match motors for Mila's because the same model Mila may have taken several different motors um, which fit into slightly different motor shrouds, which all fit in the same machine. So you'll order the part that says it goes in your machine, you'll get a motor that doesn't fit at all. Um, unfortunately, that's not a problem that Mila seems interested in addressing at this time. So when you're ordering a Mila motor online, make sure that you look very closely at the pictures, uh, look at things like hopefully, maybe if you're real lucky, they have a, a exact measurement of the width of your motor here. This is something that we see very frequently. And also the motor, motor mounts that uh, mount back in here as well. So I'm just gonna pop that back in because this is what you're doing in a motor replacement. You'll pop the, the shroud off, put the motor in, pop it back in again. And then up here we have the, that's how you can tell which way it goes up. And we'll pop it back down in again. And get this thing in there real well for us. Set Put that in there. And then your this will close and your wires has a little slot there for your wires to go out the back. And that'll hold your wires in.